forgot about that. Alrighty. Anyways, so this is how it works. Basically, you're going to have combat squads, operation missions, and recruit, headhunt. We'll get to those in a minute. So far, we're going to get to the combat. I'm just going to show you the basic combat. So basically, they're going to take you through this first. Evil combat, evil timeline. Go through it. I was on 06. I did not go far, did I? 06, you click it. It's basically going to prompt you up. You see that little thing up there? It says 82 of 82. That's how many times you can uh, keep going through the levels. And so you can actually practice. It'll use one of the, um, on the left side, you see the 30 from the uh, 8282. If you look to the left right there, and down here, you can use one of them to practice on this round. Or you can just go to go ahead and with it, use in six. I'm going to go ahead and use them. Obviously, it should, you can look at your map if you want to, let you look at it. You can show the enemy's intelligence, see what type of enemies are going to be on this map. Have a hound, a monster. And a, a riot, rioter. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Oh, obviously, your rewards. Possible rewards, I should say. So this is my my squad. You have squad 1, squad 2, squad 3. This is like different loadouts. Obviously, I didn't make uh, other squads. I think I was trying to make an elite squad here. Like a squad that could just keep taking out people. I think I'm going to use this squad. Operation 06 Assault. So, nope. They're still organizing attacks. What a pain. Of course. <laughs> Doctor, the path at the bottom of the map is now open. Please deploy one vanguard operator at the top and bottom path to hold off enemy hounds. I forget. I forgot how to play this game. It's been a while. Let me rest. Oh, if I had to restart it. Why will not let me place her up there? Oh, storage unit. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Um, a proper technique is actually to have a sword unit and then have an archer unit sit off to the side to protect them. And then I should end up getting a healing unit, which should be that little bunny girl off to the right. If you see, it says 18 points on the bottom right-hand corner. Anyways, this game was totally fun. It has tons of stories. You just got to keep playing through it if you really want to look at them. I think they're a really great story. I, I was listening to it. So far, if you want to hear about the story, it's about these people who are infected with disease and they keep trying to get, and they are, um, and these are the people we're actually fighting with. We're the people that are infected. So we're all infected, actually. So we're actually all infected. So we so we're playing as a doctor who's also an intelligent being. So we're playing apparently he's really good at um fighting. So, you know, we're the bomb apparently. So you just keep going on, keep playing through the missions, keep going through it. You get closer to a cure. In the end, I guess you end up finding a cure. Everybody gets saved. Nobody's no longer infected. I did not place that in the light spot I wanted. I, again, that sucked. But if you look up to the top left-hand corner, it tells you all the enemies. 31 to 31 dead. 12. And here's our cutscene. See, this is the cool thing about this this uh, game. I like that it has these little cutscenes. 
Like, uh, God. And, and this is what makes the storytelling so great about this game. And this is why I highly recommend if you love anime, you love storytelling, and you love the battle of evil and good, this would be a game for you to play. I don't know anywhere to go. I mean, all you gotta do is pull it up. As you saw, I pulled it up. Hit start. Automatic screen. I hit attack. I hit the mission I wanted. And I'm already here. No problem. There wasn't. There was no cutscene. There is sometimes cutscenes before. Obviously. And the best thing about it is you can put auto. Keeps going. Ah. God. Those sick batches. I can't believe they. They. Ah, yes. That's right. I was in the middle of a mission where they were murdering innocent folks who were not infected. Those beasts. Anyways, I'm just saying, if you really like this game, it'd be a great game for you. I love it personally. I just haven't played it in a while because I've been caught up in life and stuff. And that's, that's one of the downsides about mobile games. But if you're a mobile game player, good game to get. I'd recommend it. 10 out of 10. 100%. Really? Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I didn't even read it. Reunion, enslaved, infected beasts to use as troops. No, it's not that simple. I can feel it, they are no mere beasts. In fact, they're more like us. Instructors? Duh. Boss, what should we do? Give them a merciful end. Boss? Oof. Doberman, the battle is over. We also had to face off against reunion forces. The catastrophic is already looming over us. It's likely to break at any moment. Even Cherno Bog will be reduced to rubble under its direct impact. Reunion has taken advantage of this to sow even more chaos. Doberman, we're out of time. We might be able to outmaneuver Reunion or stay concealed from Eurus? Eurus? I don't know. Eurus? 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 But we're powerless in the face of Catastrophe. Catastrophe. That's enough. Let's go. No matter how reckless Reunion plans are, the most important thing for us is everyone's safety. That's right. Reunion's leaders may see this event as a sign or even as a means. But for me, it signifies that we will be in greater danger from now on. Choosing a time like this to incite chaos. Reunion is either insane or just evil. Perhaps a bit of both. And as you can see, that was the end of our story. We can obviously still continue. Uh, yeah, and this is kind of stuff. See, I like the texture. See, I wish I could zoom in on stuff like that. They do really great art. I'm, I'm telling you, the game's great. TR. I forgot what TR meant. I, I honestly, I think they're different phases. Upgrading your skills and support to increase their levels. You should already know how to enter the operations page. Yes, I do. As well as how do you operate? See, I haven't been in here so long. The tutorial is like, look, we seen how bad you were playing. Let's let's give you a little help. Tap to view more information on the opera. I know. What are you? T oh my God! It's reteaching me. Enter the skill page from here. Yeah, and then you can upgrade the skill from skill points. Yep, skill level. But I'm not upgrading her skill level because I already upgrade other people's skill level. And every time you come out of fight earlier, you saw that there was um these things right here. When I came out with these, these are little boost cards. You tap them, you click as many as you want on them. I really don't want to upgrade her that much. She is... Anyways, where is she... See, everybody starts at level 1, and you have to give them cards to upgrade. If you don't, then they just stay what they were. And their level never moves. And as you see these little indications on the bottom, these little things right here, that just says what they can do. 
basically what their attacks are. And I think it's really cool that they do it's like black steel. Like they tell you who they're from and you can just swipe through them. There's a little thing like penguin. I, I think that's pretty cool. And then also they have a style where you can change her styles from many, which I don't have at all, so it's not like I can change her. I haven't played that long to do that. Anyways, that's just first view. And then you can use your squads. Like I say, you can choose your squads. They use the ASU for that. Missions are just objectives you have during the day. Obviously, they gave me six. Six XP cards. I don't know how much XP is on those cards, but. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, check out Ark Knights. It's a great game. It's in the Google Play Store. Look for it. I'm going to leave a in the description down below so you don't have to do all that extra work, guys. And y'all, have a great day. Bye.